are you buying Robux or redeeming a gift card soon? Well, use code MEGANPLAYS while doing so to help support the channel. In today's Roblox Adopt Me video, we are talking about some of the confirmed Halloween pets coming to Adopt Me very, very soon. We are also talking about the Halloween event in general. It is going to be really, really awesome. So make sure you guys watch all the way until the end. But before we get into it, make sure you guys slap that like button and use code MEGANPLAYS when purchasing Robux. Hey, what is up, you guys? It's Megan. Welcome back to my channel, PG Squad. Welcome, welcome. I am very excited, but also very nervous. And here's why. So today we are going to be talking about the brand new Halloween update in Adopt Me. And I am, again, excited, but nervous. Let's get into it. Here I am in Adopt Me. We are collecting our 336 day login day streak. And we are getting very, very close to getting our diamond egg. Hopefully by the new year, we will have it secured. So guys, we we all know that it is currently, it's like October 19th by the time I'm filming this, Halloween is quickly approaching. It is in about like 11 days, if that math is correct. I did it off the top of my head, so it's probably not. And we have yet to see any sort of update come out for Halloween. However, we have gotten a numerous amount of teasing. So let's go over to the Adopt Me Twitter. Here we are, we have spooky cuties. Adopt Me tweeted this. They tweeted this out two days ago. Didn't make a video on it because I'm not, I'm, I'm slacking. Not a very good YouTuber. Um, okay. So anyway, we have what I think is called like a, it's like a Serebia Cerebus. I don't know. It's a Greek mythology animal for a three-headed dog. Serbius. Serbius? I don't know. <laughs> Cerberus. Cerberus. Pretty sure that's how it's said. In Greek mythology is the monstrous watchdog of the underworld. He was usually said to have three heads through the poet, this guy, for seventh century said he had 50. 50 heads. Heads of snakes grew from his back and had serpent's tail. He devoured anyone who tried to escape the kingdom of Hades, the lord of the underworld, and refused the interest to living humans through the mythic hero Orpheus. Or, 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 Orphe, or, or. My friend Casey would be so disappointed in me right now. Gained passage by charming him with music. One of the laborers of the warriors, Hercules, was to bring Cerebus up to the land of the living. After succeeding, he returned the creature to Hades. So, kind of dark? Kind of spooky. So this right now is the only real tease that we have for the brand new Halloween update coming to Adopt Me. But if we do come in to Adopt Me, and let's go ahead and let's teleport to gifts. I guess would be the fastest way to get to where we're going. There actually is a spot on the map reserved for the Halloween update. And I know you guys have all seen this by now. If you haven't, welcome to the late parade, just like me, <laughs> no big deal. But we have this whole little section over here, which looks prepped and primed for a Halloween update. There's pumpkins, there's creepy lanterns, and we have this boarded up house, which no doubt will probably house the Cerberus. Now, I don't know what's going to be happening. I don't know if Adopt Me's Halloween update just includes a Robux pet, because they are pretty due for a Robux pet. We haven't had one in quite some time, or, if it's going to host like a little event, maybe you have to go down to the underworld. Maybe it's Harry Potter inspired, you know? Cause I think that there was one in Harry Potter in the first movie. So I have no idea what they're planning. We are kind of running out of time. And the only foreseeable time I could see this update happening is this Friday. This Friday is the 23rd. The Saturday is the 24th. We are coming up very fast on Halloween, unless they just want to release it on the day of Halloween being next Friday, the 30th to the 31st, which I hope they don't do because <laughs> I'm not trying to work on the 30th. I don't wanna be up here making a video at 9 p.m., okay? Okay. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that they're having a whole Halloween event? Do you guys think that they're just gonna release a pet and call it done? Because we do have the false leg, which just released. Do you guys think we're gonna be getting more Adopt Me updates than we have been this entire year? Are they back up and running? Who knows? I wish that we could find some little hints around the map, but I have yet to find anything. I even watched a lot of their news videos and they like literally didn't say anything besides like that something was coming. Of course we have in the game description, you hear rattling in the distance and I don't know what that means. Now you would think it means like bones, maybe a skeleton dragon as we were assuming, um, a graveyard, zombies, like definitely something Halloween is coming with this update. 
So, although we don't really have any clear details, I just think it's super obvious that it will probably be coming this Friday just because I don't see them releasing it the day before Halloween because then they would have to take it down the next day. And they want people to be able to like buy the pet or be involved with the pet in some way. But at the same time, we only have concept art where at this point, I feel like they would usually be teasing models. So let's take a look at some other Greek mythology animals that could possibly be coming into Adopt Me. So when you type in Greek mythology creatures is what I typed in. There's not a lot of full animals here. However, we have a Pegasus, we have a Cerebus, we have a, um, a Hydra, a Centaur, a Minotaur. Minotaurs are quite scary if you ask me. So I don't know if they're gonna be adding more than one or if they're just gonna be adding this. Like, is it a Harry Potter themed update or is it a Greek mythology themed update? If it's a Harry Potter update, maybe we could see like a snake, like a basilisk, or I'm just trying to think of like, Harry, hey, let's type in Harry Potter creatures, goblins, ghosts. We do not have any ghost pets in Adopt Me and I think we probably could use one. Trolls, we already have dragons and unicorns and an owl, we already have an owl. So we already have a few of these. I don't know if it's gonna be Harry Potter themed or if it's going to be Greek mythology themed. That's a big question. I also don't know if you guys noticed this, but whenever you go to your house, put that there, teleport to our house. If you go to your house and you look at, you know, that little edit house stuff, we could see that there are a ton of new Halloween themed furniture pieces. Like we have some pumpkins, which you can place around the house, tall pumpkin, you know, that's really cute. I already have a Halloween house that I made. We have a fall dining chair. Um, so they're kind of more rustic pumpkin-y. Definitely don't seem to be focused on any sort of Halloween update. Instead, definitely more fall. Like maybe they want these to be used year round. This chair is definitely a year round type of chair. Like make it, make it purple. And you never know what type of season that is. We have a big lantern. So they reuse a lot of the models that they actually put inside of the hot springs for the brand new um, furniture pack, like the fences. Uh, ooh, planted bamboo, that's kinda cool. I like that. The lanterns, these umbrellas maybe? Definitely these little panda statues. <laughs> Um, are definitely recycled. I recycled it has a negative connotation to it. I don't mean recycled. I just mean they've double purposed them, which there's nothing wrong with that. I'm really excited to see what they do this Halloween. Honestly, I was kind of hoping for like a more of a dedicated October event in Halloween, but you know, that's okay. I'm really excited that we had dinosaurs and dinosaurs are kind of scary, right? I just, it just makes me wonder how big they're actually gonna go with this Halloween update. You guys know? If we talk about what happened last year with Halloween, they actually actually did have a really like big Halloween event and lasted all October. It was so fun. There was like, let me, let me see if I can find it. We could see that they had a whole haunted house dedicated to Halloween. The zombie buffalo, the shadow dragon, they had a full event, you could buy the shadow dragon. Oh look, I was raising them. You collected candy in order to like, you know, get more candy. <laughs> I obviously bought all of my candy because I pay to win often. Um, So that was kind of fun, a little scavenger hunt. They could probably implement something like that super fast. They decorated the map kind of Halloween-y, but not too much. As we can see, there was like a big, there's a big windmill here. They had this big ax that you could walk up, but it was nothing specifically Halloween designed. Oh, and they made like the little water park all like purple, like it had a potion in it. And then they also had this little graveyard. You could knock on the tombstones. It was like a memorization game. Like ghosts would come out of this house and then they would go to their graves and you had to pick which ones didn't have the ghosts in them. And then you could earn candy that way. They also had like a haunted house maze, which I'm going in right here. And you can see like this was kind of difficult. Like they just had so much like, oh, there's little ghosts. You could find them. Um, so you would, you would like kind of stop them, I guess. And you would find these treasure chests in these rooms and then you would be able to collect more candy. So they had like a whole little event. I posted this probably on the 19th. So that's when they kind of, oh my gosh. I posted this video a year ago for the day I'm recording it. That is inception at its finest. I cannot believe that. And who remembers the split hair? The split hair was so cute. I miss it so much, but other times I just like do not miss it because it was so hard to maintain. Um, and then we had, you know, the evil unicorn and the bad dragon. This was released a week after. So their event was actually split into a couple different parts. 
So guys, what are you thinking about the Halloween event and if it's happening, if it's not happening, is it just a pet, is it a full event? We don't know, but we do know that we are possibly getting a Cerebus, but I don't know if it's going to be for Robux or not. Obviously there's already a lot of like models in the game that could be recycled for this, like the wolf, you know, he's right here. He looks exactly kind of like the model, maybe just change some of the colors, slap two heads on that bad boy and then there you guys go. Is this girl literally drowning? What's happening? But guys, that is all the information I have. I know it's not much. I am going out of town to Wisconsin in a day and I am so worried that they're gonna update while I'm gone and I'm gonna miss it and I'm not gonna be able to live stream with you guys as I usually do. But anyway, please subscribe because who knows, maybe I'll get to. I'm hopeful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to hashtag stay peachy, stay kind, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.